Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to download and install T-Shock for Terraria version 1.2. So the first thing you want to do is go to the T-Shock website, which is tshock.co. And I don't recommend getting T-Shock from any other source because you might be getting a virus. So go ahead and go to the tshock.co website and click on install. And right here under download and extract, We'll see the link to the GitHub. And these are the T-Shock releases in descending order. So the top one is going to be the most recent. So if you click this green button right here, you will download it. And it should go into your downloads folder, just like here with mine. I'm just going to set it out here so I can work with it. Um, I'm using WinRAR. You might not have WinRAR and you can just unzip it here. I'm going to actually extract it to a folder called tshock.4.2. Just like this is named. So as you can see, WinRAR created this folder. And inside here is all of our tshock files that we're going to need. So, to create this T-Shock subfolder, we're just going to run the server for the first time. Now you can see that this T-Shock folder has been created with all the files in here. This is your log file. This is your config file, message of the day, rules, your process ID for your file, your T-Shock database, and your whitelist. I'm going to make a video on how to edit this config file. Also, I'm going to make a video on how to add more user groups and permissions using this database file. But for now, we are just going, going to run the server for the first time. And I'm just going to pick one of my worlds and leave the default port. And then you're going to launch your Terraria um, game going to go to multiplayer join pick a guy and you're going to go to 127.0.0.1 which is your loopback address leave the port the same and after you're done connecting it's time to follow these instructions so we're going to use this auth code right here so I'm just going to leave that right there so we're going to do forward slash auth and the number given to me is this number and your number is going to be different they're all unique so after I'm done using the author authentication code I'm actually going to create a user by doing forward slash user space add space the username space and then my password and then space the group I want to be a member of which of course is the super admin group hit enter to save that in this green text tells me that it has been successfully created so now I'm gonna log into that account so just forward slash login the username and the password once I authenticate it tells me I have to use the auth verify command so let's do that now forward slash auth verify and now I'm done now this message won't come up anymore every time you run your server anyway guys that is how you install T-Shock and make yourself a super admin on your server from this point um, you can create more users or edit your config file, or pretty much uh, do whatever you want. Anyway, if you guys have any questions on installing this, if it's not working or anything, you can either ask me questions or you can get on the T-Shock website and make an account and, uh, and either ask your question or go ahead and use this search feature to search any problems that you're having. But anyway guys, thanks for watching.